Do you know what Simone Biles just dropped about Team USA? The woman with more gold medals than most of us have trophies just lit up the gymnastics world with her explosive comments. She's calling out the intense pressure and cutthroat environment our top athletes are facing. Is this the wake-up call gymnastics needs to finally put athletes' well-being first? International team presented by Xfinity. Imagine the pressure cooker environment. 15 of the best gymnasts in the country competing fiercely for just five coveted spots on Team USA. This isn't just about skills. It's about who can handle the heat and perform when it counts. I actually think I'd be crazy enough to be sitting right here again. <laughs> yeah. The selection process is meticulous and grueling. It starts with a broad pool of talented athletes all of whom have worked their entire lives for this moment. They go through a series of competitions, with every flip, twist, and landing scrutinized by the judges. By the time they get to the Olympic trials, the field is down to the cream of the crop. This year, they began with 16 hopefuls, but an unfortunate injury to Sky Blakely, who tore her Achilles, has narrowed it to 15. It's a tough break, but that's the brutal reality of sports at this level. Simone Biles, of course, is the undisputed queen of the gym. She's been a household name for years, and her performances at these trials have been nothing short of spectacular. She posted an all-around score of 58.900, which is miles ahead of her competitors. Her vault score alone, a whopping 15.975, left everyone else in the dust. You can almost feel the other gymnasts' mixed emotions of awe and despair, because beating Simone seems like an impossible dream. But it's not just about Simone. There's a fierce battle brewing for the remaining spots. Suni Lee, the reigning Olympic all-around champion, is back despite battling a kidney issue that ended her college career prematurely. She's shown incredible resilience, topping the beam with a score of 14.400, and putting in solid performances across other events. Jade Carey, another standout, brings her specialist skills to the table, particularly on the vault and floor, where she's consistently among the top scorers. Jordan Chiles is another strong contender, boasting an all-around score of 56.400. Her experience from the Tokyo Olympics and her solid performances at these trials put her in a prime position. Then there's Shalise Jones, who, despite battling injuries, impressed everyone with her first place finish on the uneven bars. Her resilience and determination make her a strong candidate, although her health remains a concern. The selection committee has its work cut out for it. These gymnasts are not just competing against each other, they're competing against the clock their injuries, and the immense pressure of knowing that only five of them will go to Paris. It's a high-stakes game, and the decisions made here will shape the future of U.S. women's gymnastics. Every move she makes seems to defy the laws of physics, and her scores reflect that. With an all-around score of 58.900, she's so far ahead of the competition, it's almost laughable. Her vault score was an astounding 15.975 and she dominated the floor with a score of 14.850. Even on the uneven bars, where she's not typically known to shine as brightly, she pulled off a 14.425. On the beam, she scored 13.650, which for anyone else would be a high point. But for Simone, it's just another day at the office. Pressure. Oh. The way she start, wanted to start this beam routine. That mountain has been giving her trouble the last few competitions. But it's not just about the numbers with Simone. Her presence in the gym is electrifying. She's not just performing for herself, she's leading by example, pushing her teammates to be their best. You can see the respect and admiration in the eyes of the other gymnasts. When she speaks, everyone listens. Her leadership is as crucial as her skill because she sets the tone for the entire team. It's clear to everyone that Simone is a lock for the Olympic team. Leaving her out would be like leaving LeBron off the Lakers. It just wouldn't make sense. The competition is fierce, 
with top contenders like Suni Lee, Jade Carey, Jordan Chiles, and Shailiz Jones bringing their A-game. Each of these athletes has their own unique strengths and a compelling case for making the team. Suni Lee, the reigning Olympic all-around champion, is a powerhouse on the beam, scoring a solid 14.400. Despite battling a kidney issue that cut her college career short, she's shown remarkable resilience. She's not just a specialist. Her all-around score of 56.025 proves she's a versatile competitor who can handle the pressure. Jade Carey is another standout, especially on the vault and floor. Her all-around score of 55.825 and a vault score of 14.600 make her a formidable contender. Her floor routine, which earned her a 14.075, showcases her incredible strength and precision. Jade's performance is a testament to her dedication and skill, and she's a strong contender for the Olympic team. Jordan Chiles has also made a compelling case for herself with an all-around score of 56.400. Her experience from the Tokyo Olympics gives her an edge and her consistency across all events, especially her 14.325 on the vault and 14.100 on the floor, makes her a valuable asset. She's shown she can perform under pressure, which is exactly what Team USA needs. Shiley's Jones, despite being banged up, has demonstrated her brilliance on the uneven bars with a first place score of 14.675. Her resilience in the face of injury speaks volumes about her determination and grit. However, her health remains a question mark, and the selection committee will have to weigh her potential contribution against the risk of further injury. Injuries have certainly thrown a wrench into the selection process. Sky Blakely, who was a strong candidate, is out with an Achilles injury. Kayla DiCello's injury during the trials further complicates things. These injuries not only affect the chances of the injured athletes, but also open doors for others to step up and claim a spot. It's a brutal reminder of the physical toll this sport takes on its athletes. Lee looks at the team as, okay, they went to Tokyo and this, this, and this happened, and what are they going to do here in Paris? But for us, I know we're stronger than what we showed in Tokyo, so... In a candid interview, she expressed serious concerns about the direction the team is heading and the intense pressure these young gymnasts are under. She didn't hold back, criticizing the selection process and the overwhelming expectations placed on the athletes. Simone mentioned that the current atmosphere is more cutthroat than supportive, and that the focus seems to have shifted from the joy of the sport to an almost relentless drive for perfection in medals. This isn't just idle chatter from the sidelines. Simone's words carry weight because she's lived through the highs and lows of this intense journey. Her comments seem to stem from a genuine concern for the well-being of her fellow gymnasts. She's been vocal about the importance of mental health and has openly shared her struggles with the pressure of performing at such a high level. Her statements reflect a deep understanding of the sport's demands and a desire to see a healthier, more balanced approach to training and competition. Simone's criticism comes at a crucial time when gymnastics as a sport is undergoing significant changes. There's been a lot of talk about the need for a cultural shift, moving away from the harsh old school methods that have dominated for decades. Simone's comments are a call to action, urging the gymnastics community to rethink how they nurture and support their athletes. The gymnastics community is buzzing with reactions to Simone's statements. Fellow gymnasts, coaches, and fans have all chimed in, and the responses have been a mix of support, surprise, and some backlash. Many of her teammates and other gymnasts have echoed her sentiments, expressing relief that someone of Simone's stature is speaking out about these issues. Suni Lee, for instance, commented that Simone's honesty is a breath of fresh air and that it brings much needed attention to the mental and emotional challenges they face. Coaches, on the other hand, have had varied responses. Some agree with Simone and acknowledge that the sport needs to evolve. Chelsea Memel, a respected figure in the gymnastics world, mentioned that, Simone's words highlight issues we've all seen and felt. It's time for change. However, there are others who feel that the criticism is too harsh and that the current system, despite its flaws, has produced incredible results. 
fans have taken to social media to voice their opinions. Many are applauding Simone for her bravery in speaking out. One Twitter user wrote, Simone Biles is a true champion, not just for her medals, but for her courage to stand up for what's right. On the flip side, some fans believe that the focus should remain on winning and that the athletes should toughen up, reflecting a more traditional view of sports. In the midst of all this, notable figures in gymnastics have also weighed in. Mary Lou Retton, the 1984 Olympic champion, supported Simone's call for a more athlete-centered approach, stating, our sport has to prioritize the health and well-being of our gymnasts. Simone is right, we need to do better. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.